Yo, what is up guys, this is Recidivate, and before I talk about what's going on, I just want to uh, talk a little bit about the situation that we we're in. Uh, our, my team was doing very bad, they were actually using like retarded class setups and like, it, it was really bad, and we ended up 3-0 after the first round, and we ended up making a comeback, we went into overtime, and we won it, so that's why I wanted to bring you guys this gameplay, but uh, this is part 3 of the long-awaited uh, third episode of my recent years. And today we're going to be talking about the 8th grade. And I don't know if you guys remember, it was so long ago when I did the second episode. But uh, what I, what it is that I had talked about was just from me being popular to just complete chaos and turmoil that I really don't even like talking about at this point. But um, I tried really hard to get this video out earlier, but I just didn't even know what to say for this grade. It's just, I don't remember much because everything was just going in and out for me. You know, I didn't, I didn't try to push to do anything, but I, I didn't do anything at all. You know, I laid back and that's all I did. I just let things unfold the way that they're supposed to be and whatever you know I don't I don't believe that you're born with a certain destiny that no matter what you do you're gonna end up with that destiny I don't believe that I don't think you're born with a destiny I believe that whatever it is that you do whatever actions you make will decide what happens later on in life there's no destiny that's planned out and that's that's how I truly believe it is and you know I took that into consideration entering the eighth grade I'm like man seventh grade wasn't good it really wasn't good at all so I'm just gonna you know try it I'm just gonna have to take it in and realize that I'm not the popular guy anymore there's popular there's people that are more popular so I laid back you know I got new friends I just went into my own thing you know I seriously got into gaming more and you know that's pretty much where uh, I started off, you know, I, I ended up, it wasn't even competitive gaming either, you know, I mean, I always had an Xbox, and I played it all the time, but up until that point, I didn't, I didn't ask twice, I didn't ask twice to be able to play Xbox, you know, I'd be like, originally, I would say to my mom, I'd be like, mom, can I play some Xbox, and if she says no, I'd be like, alright, now, I would have to, you know, keep trying and trying because I, I started getting more and more involved with it and I, I found it to be uh, the biggest priority of my life at the point because, you know, reality, the the real world was not working for me. It really was not working. So I kind of went into this cyber thing and, you know, that's where I ended up for the pretty much the entire eighth grade. And uh, I don't, I don't really know how everything started to change, but everything started to get better and better just because, you know, people saw that I wasn't trying to get involved, so they tried to get me involved, and I, I really love that, you know. Uh, even then, you know, they came up to me and said something, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't just instantly like hop in like, oh yeah, I'm the coolest guy. I'd be like, well, yeah, okay, okay. It wasn't even planned. It just happened. I was so used to not being involved in things that it surprised me when people said that they wanted me to be doing this with them or that and whatever. And I I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. And that's pretty much where where my recovery path had started. So you don't have to be the most involved. You just... <laughs> just don't don't end up like I did in seventh grade because that was bad that really was bad you know my basketball skills eh, they were diminishing because of how involved I was getting with reality I guess I don't know and to me that was upsetting at first I was like oh man I'm really bad at basketball now but then I thought back I'm like you know what maybe I'm only good at basketball when I'm angry at the world and I'm definitely I definitely at that point was not angry at the world and they may seem weird to be angry at the entire world and everything but that's kinda how I feel the other night we had a basketball game and 
you know, we don't we don't have a good team. We 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 have a good team, but for whatever reason, we can't win. Like we don't have a we don't have just that winning capability. And we went up against a team, and we were down by six points at halftime. And the varsity coach, because I played JV, I'm a freshman. Uh, the varsity coach came into the locker room, and he started yelling. And our JV coach doesn't yell. But he came in, he started yelling, and it got me pumped up. You know, it got me mad. I was like, you know what, you're yelling at me? Like, what kind of what kind of person are you to come in to, you know, the gym that I have been playing in for who knows how long and just yell at me like I'm some little kid? And it got me angry and it got me worked up. And that fueled me. It really did. I don't know how. I went out in that court. I scored two points. I was very proud of myself. I went out in that court and I played. I played harder than I did for the entire game. Just in that time right there. I played for maybe four minutes. And it felt so good. It really did. We ended up winning that game. And I truly believe that we won that game because he yelled at us. And it got us angry. And it got us just fired up. Prove him wrong. That's all we wanted to do the entire time. This guy was being a jerk. I want to prove him wrong. Teach him who he really is. And we came out with a spectacular second half performance. And we won the game by 6 to 8 points. And that's... That's, that's kind of how it is. You know, I, I wasn't angry back in 8th grade. So, I really didn't do that good in basketball. But I got used to it. Just like I got used to everything else. I know this was like, like kind of weird commentary. You know, it jumped around from time to time. But I really don't know how to explain the 8th grade. It was just kind of one of those things where I laid back. And... Things started to unfold in their own ways instead of me trying to dictate it. So, hopefully you guys will, you know, take that into consideration. When you have a moment in your life that is, you know, struggling you or anything, just let let reality take its path and let it do what it wants. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and part four will be out probably Friday. So, thank you guys for watching. I love, I love you all. Peace out.